Have you heard about a lot of new music today? Well, now it's time for something completely different. Episode 453, 52. Fine music. Because it's going to be led by Jim. You know what's going to happen. Well, we think, we this, think. Is a, this is a very special, a very special presentation I have for today. I decided, you know, every once in a while I have brought out some of the albums in my accumulation. I won't call it a collection because a collector takes care of his stuff and I just played them at parties and stuff. But this one, I've never played this record but once. Okay, one time. And it'll be a surprise to most of you because I'll guarantee you haven't heard of it. Today's Labor Day. And you know how groups come out with Christmas albums and stuff. People don't know that the Beatles did come up with a Labor Day album called Working with the Beatles. Okay. Hmm. And the songs on here are pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. You probably never heard of them. I don't think you could read it here. So I'll read the titles to you. 20 Day Labor Day Hits from the Fab Four. Working in the Sky with Diamonds. <laughs> I want to work your hand. Kind of nasty. She works you. No work man instead of no work man. You could probably hear the lyrics in your. You could hear the sounds, the melodies in your head as I read these titles. Paperback worker. <laughs> Magical mystery work. And your and your bird can work. <laughs> Any work at all. Work in the USSR. Kind of hard labor there. Don't let me work. Okay. A hard day's work. Worker Skelter, that's, you know, Charles Manson must have got some uh, inspiration for them. I'm happy just to work with you. That's kind of a nice uh, Labor Day theme there. Norwegian work, probably <laughs> probably in the fjords, real cold weather. You got to wear some warm weather or cold weather gear. I'm only working. No time for sleep when you're only working. <laughs> I'm working through you. You know, nobody can really see through anybody else. So I'm working through you. I, I don't know. Um, she worked in through the bathroom window. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know if she skinned her elbows or what, but uh twist and work. And then and the other side of that is work and shout. There's two. Twist and work, work and shout. Shake it old baby, you know. Your mother should work. Now a lot of people have protested that song because it shouldn't be limited. Work shouldn't be limited to the mother, right? Huh. But I guess the Beatles felt like they had a score to settle with somebody's mom, you know, your mother should work. <laughs> There's another one. Uh, Ringo Starr sang the lead vocals on this one uh, with a little work from my friends. Uh, and two more, three more, excuse me. While my guitar gently works. <laughs> Ticket to work. Okay. Um, and then kind of a sad footnote on the whole thing. She's leaving work. <laughs> I think that was on their rubber work album. I'm not sure. <laughs> so here we have uh, one of my most prized possessions, a very rare, rare, Totally rare copy of working with the Beatles. Okay. Um, maybe at some point uh, I will uh, share music with you guys and just play some of the incredible tunes on this album. Okay. So that's my presentation for today. And, you know, before I go, let me put this back in the album. The, the, you know, the present, you got to preserve albums like this. These things are so valuable. You know, you try to you try to find this on on uh, Bandcamp and, and uh, Spotify. You try to find this on freaking eBay, and man, the prices are going to be in the seven figures. I'll guarantee it. So, um, happy Labor Day, everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to that when uh, <laughs> this. That, I'm gonna be laughing. <laughs> good, good. I'm gonna have to. I'll put some of the songs online. Maybe if I can. Uh, if if I could bring myself to actually putting it on the turntable, you know, I just it's so rare and so valuable. I just don't want to put a scratcher on it. I don't want any dust to settle on the on the vinyl. You know, just a coincidence. Uh, there are two acts I've discovered that I can't play on this show because they do Beatles songs. Oh, and I posted them recently uh, on Fine Music. Blues Beatles. Uh, one of them is an AI version of the Beatles. It's called I Beatles. And it's uh oh, something just... the thing song is uh, if something never if something never happened. Something, you you just gave me title. an idea. I could I I'm yeah check out some so, AI with this stuff. I it's can, on fine music I, I posted then it, it there. Have to, then it wouldn't have to play the album on the turntable. I just yeah but I'm still not gonna play it. Although I could probably because this song it explicitly states it cannot be sold or recorded. And uh, so I, I downloaded it, but you can't burn it. 
it's got something in it that doesn't allow you to burn it. Hmm. So it really can't be commercially sold. Uh, but I don't want to risk uh, yeah. killing your episode, Jim, by playing it. Oh, well, it wouldn't kill. I don't think it would kill the episode. Yeah, I, yeah, well, I'll throw it off. It and was... the other one is uh, HOA. They're the Korean Beatles. <laughs> HOA, really? HOA, oh, yes. Homeowners Association? Uh, I just posted two of their uh, videos on Fine Music. One of them is a compilation of their covering Beatles songs. They do it very well. And then they have some original material. Well, the one I posted is called Pushman. Pushman. <laughs> Pushman. It's, it's he's very Pushman? good. Very good. Yeah. The yeah. Pushman? In the spirit of the Rudels. Oh, okay. Cool. Because you know about the Rudels. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're quite good. Can't play them. Go check them out and find music. And we have one more episode to punish you with. 